Good morning, Modern Steaders. This morning we're gonna make an automatic chicken waterer using a five gallon drum and some horizontal chicken nipples. At this point you should have your $30 chicken coop made with the accessories. You should be up to having the top installed, the two seats for your automatic waterer and feeder, and your rear ski. If you haven't seen the videos or if you haven't made your $30 chicken coop in 30 minutes, I'm going to put a link to the playlist here and it's going to have that video and it'll have the video showing you how to make the accessories that we have already built. Good morning pigs. We're going to be making the automatic water in this video. In the next video we're going to be making the automatic feeder. For the water you're going to need a 5 gallon bucket, a lid, if you get them at Tractor Supply, this isn't endorsed by Tractor Supply or anything, but if you get them at Tractor Supply, they're food grade. The cheapest buckets I found around and they're food grade, which is awesome. Then you need your bucket and your lid. You're going to need six horizontal, that's right, horizontal poultry nipples. If you don't have any or if you don't know where to get them, I'm going to leave a link down below to Coops and more and you can order the nipples from them. And if you use the promo code LUMNA, you'll get 10% off your order before shipping. So you got your nipples. After you have your nipples, you're gonna need an 11 32nd drill bit, a drill, a Sharpie, and a tape measure. Now that you have all that, we're ready to get started. If you want written directions, I have a blog post that goes along with this build. I'm gonna leave a link to that here and in the description down below. We're gonna to wanna to lay our bucket down. And for this build, we're going to be using six nipples. We're going to mark the location for our six nipples. You're going to want to keep in mind, you're going to have chicks in there at some point and chickens. They'll be growing up and maturing at different stages. So we're going to want to make our nipples in different locations. The first three we're going to mark at an inch off the bottom. And the next three we're going to stagger up higher at the four inch mark. We're going to keep them in the front so that way the chickens can get to them. I'm going to line my tape measure up with the tractor supply emblem. And go one. I'm going to do one in the center. And then we're going to go to the, past the opposite edge. Then for our four inch, we're going to go in between. That's what your bucket should look like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take our 11 32nd drill bit. going to continue drilling the other five out. Now that all of our holes are drilled, we're just going to clean up around the holes, get rid of any of the plastic that's left. I'm going to use my razor knife and just scrape off the excess plastic just to clean it up a little bit, not necessary. But I don't want to have to worry about my chickens pecking and eating a little bit of plastic. This is your horizontal poultry nipple. This is what a vertical one looks like that you would thread into the bottom of a bucket. It's not the style we're using today. I'm going to show you another option if you wanted to use this today, you could. This is a horizontal cup poultry waterer. Where the poultry cup would come in really good is if you're raising ducks. You could screw the cup right into the bucket and your ducks would be able to get a bunch of water. So if you're raising ducks, this is a great option. Today we're going to stick with the horizontal one. Just wanted to show you what they make. This is also over at Coops and More. Now that we have that out of the way, we're going to take our horizontal nipples, put them in the hole, and just start turning them. Let's get them all started.
Once you have the nipples all finger tight, you're going to need an 11 30 seconds wrench or an adjustable wrench to finish tightening them. You want to make sure the larger base end is pointing down. Look at that food grade heavy duty BPA free. And they're three bucks. A lot cheaper. Lowe's I think is four or five. And theirs aren't food grade. Most of the time you go online to buy food grade buckets and they're like ten bucks. So this makes me excited. If you're concerned about having BPA free plastic like a lot of people are, Think about this, you want your animals to be eating and drinking out of BPA plastic too because what they eat becomes the bones of your bones and the flesh of your flesh. So if the chickens are getting contaminated from bad plastic, you will be too later on when you're eating their eggs or meat. So take care of your animals the way you'd want to be taken care of. Let's go fill it up with water and make sure it doesn't leak. Give it a quick little rinse out at first. Make sure we got all that plastic out of the bucket. Now we'll fill it up. Once it's filled up, we'll put our cover on. And we can test our nipples. Now we can inspect our nipples to make sure they're not leaking. Ours are all nice and dry. But if they are leaking around where the threads are, they do make a washer and nut to go on the inside to stop them from leaking. The chickens can get in here and have access to plenty of fresh water. They're gonna sit just like that. Fits perfectly right on the shelf like we built it for this. Racing pigs. Who won? I don't know. I'm going to have a link down below to our website where you can print off all the directions for making the accessories and the chicken coop. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. We wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. And we'd love to see photos of your modern steader chicken coop. Our social media handle is Lumna Acres, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow building the automatic chicken feeder at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.